can see now. It's is... SQP Productions. They did those big artist books. Not big artist books. They were kind of like sketchbooks, drawing books. And they were themed. Uh, I think one of them was called Treasure Chests, which were like pirate ladies. If you go back to the cover, that's Fastner and Larson. They're, they were like the, uh, the honeys, uh, the sweeties for SQP. They did a lot of the cover work. I think they do a little bit of thing. But they work um, almost exactly like the Hildebrandt brothers, Greg and Tim uh -huh. Hildebrandt. In other words, one would start something, another one could come in maybe finish it. It just, it just worked, uh, um, uh, you know, like a, you know, very much like a team, an artist team. Um, and, and well, I they, really, yeah, really that... like their work. Um, I really like their work. I was actually just thinking about them, uh, last week and trying to track down some of this stuff. So thank you for bringing this in. Yeah, this cover is incredible. Um, it looks like it's airbrushed. So oh, absolutely. I don't know how, I don't know how that works in with the with their workflow. You know, unless you look closely, I missed this middle character here. I just didn't yeah. even notice him until I looked carefully. But you have this big brute here, and then this hot vixen here. Um, so that's a very interesting composition, you know. And then they have this uh, space debris here of like you know crashed rocket ships, so they're stranded on this ship and they're shooting in every direction. Um, you know, look at this line here that fades between the surface and the, you know, the atmosphere. So it looks like real airbrushed, um, you know, and I think this was when Corbin's effects were being felt, you know, in some other places.